Good morning. It was definitely a week when the old and the new sat side by side, which is why I've got Michael Bublé in the background. And no, I don't mean that I found myself sitting beside a hot teenager, if only. It was instead the fact that we had an upload of a brilliant piece by Dave Allen. Do you remember him? He was a comic in the 70s and 80s who was missing a finger. And it was alongside news that computers are being taught to think for themselves independently. What would he say about that kind of news if he was still alive, I wonder? Probably that it was very, very scary indeed, and that we are the only species anywhere that actively seeks to make ourselves obsolete. And we think we're the clever ones? Yeah, sure. Anyway, just search for either Dave Allen or computers teaching themselves and enjoy the ride. A little bit bumpy, but fun. Meanwhile, we also had uploads of more co uh, current comedians like Pete Decay. So, so funny, talking about what he'd like to tell Super Nanny to do when his two kids are hyper on Haribo. Now, originally when I did this, I said on Malibu. That's an entirely different conversation, I'm sure. Even if they're not actually called Strawberry and Champagne, it's fun to think that there are some kids somewhere with that kind of moniker. What are the parents thinking of? I mean, my son hasn't forgiven me for naming him Jonathan and leaving the H in it. What can I tell you? That's how I thought you spelt it. Now, is it me that thinks only we Brits could complain that the latest public offering of the post office was a failure because the stock price is so high and still climbing? You know, if I'd known then what I know now about so many, many things, I'd be a millionaire, Rodders, an absolute millionaire. I love the picture that was uploaded of Conservative MP Michael Fabricant, not only because it's a brilliant name, but he sat through a session of Parliament sporting an enormous fake moustache in support of Movember. It's definitely worth a look, and no, refunds are not available on the taxes that you think he's going to be wasting, because they're not. Basically, he just found a different way to make a highly visible statement of support for a really good cause. Well done, that man, I say. Then we had a brilliant upload of a paper plane that flies forever. I mean it, honestly, forever. Honestly, no batteries, no camera tricks, nothing. I don't know about the kids, but it will certainly keep you and me entertained for ages. Now you see, if they'd done that kind of stuff in physics, I might have actually paid some attention, any attention. And to wrap things up this week, there was even good news on the economy. The challenge many of us face, however, is not in the ambition to succeed, but in having or acquiring the knowledge to do so, to be successful in itself. If only there was a guru like I don't know, Seth Godin, to tell us how to do it. Oh, that's right, there is. Just have a look at a great piece he does when he's talking about sliced bread and how to make millions from marketing the right way. Search for Seth Godin and a load of stuff will come up, but you'll find the one that you'll enjoy most, I'm sure. And if you could just send me a medium size to check when you've made a fortune out of it, that would be fantastic. Me, I'm off to go and put my order in for the Aston Martin. Well, Battle of the Fiat Panda. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.